Hi guys, welcome to another video. I am jet lagged. I am just back from New York. We have been everywhere. We have been to Chanel, Dior, Hermes, Louis Vuitton, Goyard, Fendi, Bergdorf's, Saks. We've been everywhere. We've been to Fashion File. We've been to so many places. So this is it. I need to show you and share with you all the things that we saw. And I want you to guess, wait till later to guess what I might have bought. And there's more than one thing. There's definitely more than one thing. So let's get going. I have so much to share with you. I'm going to insert some vlog footage throughout this video because I think that's the easiest way for me to do it. But oh, let's start off with when I first arrived. So take a look at this. Wait for later, you're gonna see little cameos from certain people. Have a look at this. Guess where we are? I'm in New York. This is the Rockefeller Center. Just really, really excited. So here we are. I've got a husband that's wandering, trying to get away from us, I think. And I've got a very special guest now. Who might this be? This is the gorgeous Amelia. How are you, my love? We are reunited. Here we are. We are so happy. We were just. We are in the same building, we're in the same city. This is that amazing. Was our test it was this morning. It was. We're in the same building. <laughs> How are we finding it so far? I love it. I love this city. It's, it's just got a whole the city is like a destination of its own. It really it's, is. It's, it's just vibe. you can feel like the it. energy of this place. We just yeah. want to just do everything, don't we? Yeah. Um, so what's the plan for today? We are going to go to I think we're going to Bergloff's, we're going to Louis Vuitton first, aren't we? Yeah. Then we're going to go to Bergloff's, we're going to meet Meredith and Lisa, then Dior is hosting us for our lunch. Is which is, yes, which and is then, very, very exciting. Some more shopping and see what we can find. Yeah. yeah and we've exciting. also got something very special tonight, haven't we? Oh, theatre. We're going to the theatre. Theater. Theater. So, yeah. Oh, we're being told off. Thank you. Hi. But he's doing it nicely. <laughs> he is very nice. 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 So sorry. No, no. <laughs> there we go. Law enforcement. <laughs> We're now in New York and our first stop, myself and Amelia, and we dragged Andrew with us as well. We went to Louis Vuitton on Fifth Avenue and it is the flagship store in New York, as far as I know. And it is a fabulous store, it really is. And the people in there, the sales associates could not have been more lovely. Look at some of these. <laughs> the Go One Four, this is in the new PM size, it is fab fabulous. It is a really great size. It is still a mini bag when you when you look inside and you see what actually you can fit in it. But it's not as small as I thought. You can fit a fair amount in it and it is beautiful. It's not too bulky. This blue, this blue, this was very tempting, but I was there, it was my first few minutes in New York. So I had to rein myself in and not go straight to buying the first thing I saw, but it was beautiful. I also really like this gray bag. I think it was just beautiful. I do think it's slightly ordinary, as in would I pay that for a slouchy shoulder bag? Not sure, but I did like the gray. And this bag, now, <laughs> I saw this on the runway and I featured it in one of my videos before. This, I'm gonna find the price and put it down here because it was so astronomical. I can't even remember what it was, 
but it was thousands and thousands of pounds. So yeah, it, that wasn't coming home with me, but I, it was nice to see it in the flesh nonetheless. I also finally, finally got my hands on the soft speedy in the Umprompt leather. It's in the soft slouchy leather in the 30 size. And I'm here to tell you, it is beautiful. It is really beautiful. So I'll put some footage in. What do you guys think? Do we think it's a winner? What do we think of this bag? I loved it. I knew I'd love it and I did love it. The price in the USA is crazy high compared to the UK. We did have a look at some of the things in the UK website versus um, the prices in store in, the, in New York and some of them were very similar apart from the sales tax made them more expensive in New York but this bag had a really big difference. I don't know why. Other things seem to have been um, equalised shall we say. Not sure but beautiful beautiful bag nonetheless so the lady who was helping us in new york was in the louis vuitton on fifth avenue was called tina and she said would you like to see some exotics yes please <laughs> yes please look at this myself and amelia thought this bag was one of the most beautiful finishes we've ever seen now i am saved for two reasons i was saved one I would not buy an exotic abroad because I'd be so worried about bringing it back into the UK. Even though it has ascites and everything else, I'd just be a little bit too nervous to do that. And secondly, well, there's three reasons. <laughs> so secondly, the price over in the USA is just a lot more. So again, I wouldn't buy it here. But thirdly, these are not my colours. Actually, I thought of the fourth reason. <laughs> the third reason, these are not my colours. They are pinky, peachy tones beautiful just not my colour so I was saved and the fourth reason this is python this isn't lizard it is python and I understand from uh, Meredith that python actually can be a lot more delicate because the scales can lift so yeah it just puts me off python a little bit although I did have a python handle on my capucines and it seemed okay but I didn't really use that bag that much so yeah I prefer lizard. So all in all, this was not the bag for me, but very beautiful. We also looked at some croc pieces. Oh, just some beautiful, beautiful pieces. But yeah, not this time and not this time. Myself and Amelia then went across the road to Bergdorf's and we met the gorgeous Lisa from Luxury and Life in the Middle and Meredith from Living Lux with Meredith and we were hosted by Dior so we did have a look in Dior and I'll show some footage of all of these things and then we went for lunch courtesy of Dior and it was just fabulous so thank you to Lisa for setting all that up that was just and thank you to Bergdorf's because it was just the customer service in Bergdorf's, absolutely impeccable. But anyway, have a look at some of these um, Dior bags. I made a beeline to look at a couple of things. I wanted to see the new Groove bag. Now, what do we think, guys? What do we think of this bag? I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like it. I thought it looked beautiful, but as soon as I held it, it was so structured and boxy there was no way that I could wear that crossbody. It was too bulky, too boxy. It stuck out of my body. And also because, particularly on the smaller size, because the, um, the zip does go down the side, which is great for getting in, in and out of your bag, but the D-rings are part way down each side and the bag just kept flipping over. It literally was flipping over, it wouldn't stay upright. Now, of course, once you put a few bits in it and weighed it down, it probably would stay, but it felt really, yeah, just didn't like it at all, which in a way was a shame, and in another way, it, it, I could <laughs> at least cross it off my list. So yeah, even in the blue oblique, the whole style of that bag, yeah, it just wasn't for me. I made another beeline to the Tajor bag. I don't know why I don't just buy one. I literally cannot, cannot <laughs> put them down. Whenever I'm in the vicinity of the Tajor bag, I am just, I don't know what it is. I love them. I don't know what's stopping me. I think it's just the thought of when I would use it. So I'm just a bit unsure about it. Um, but I loved it. There was a crinkly calfskin one that I'll show here. In fact, I'll put this little bit of footage in of Lisa trying this on because yeah, just take a look at this. So we've got another little special guest. 
Hey Lisa. Hey what, Deb. What are we what are we modeling at the minute? This, this is, is the you almost think it was a YouTuber's convention over here. So it's more of like a crinkly, very, very soft. Hi. And it's all matte black and oh hello. <laughs> hello Miriam. <laughs> <Mary. laughs> this bag smells amazing. We've also got our little fender there. Hi Meredith. Have we found anything nice today? We have. <laughs> came in grey and I just think it was it's beautiful so again again food for thought also I wanted to get my hands on the newspaper print saddlebag and yeah I just wanted to see what it was like and it is beautiful it is absolutely beautiful and it is sold out everywhere as far as I know so there wasn't one available to buy but I did at least get my hands on on one to try and it was really, really cool. Just really cool how the, um, the print of the newspaper is raised. So it just, I don't know, it's just really, really cool. Do I really want one? I'm not sure if it's one of those bags that I sort of really want to have, but I would probably not use that often. So part of me is, oh, it'd be really cool, particularly because it says New York on it, but... Oh, I'm just I'm just a little bit unsure about it, but it was super cool and absolutely gorgeous. We then might have um, visited Chanel downstairs in Bergdorf's and just some beautiful pieces. Um, there were some absolutely stunning sequins, sparkle bags. I'll put a selection here that I saw just some pearl bags. I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of pearls, so they weren't for me, but. There was a couple of sequin bags that I just thought, oh, they're just beautiful. But I really, really like the burgundy and I did want to have a look at these. And there was the um, the tote bag, beautiful. But I found this bag, this is the wok and it is in the beautiful burgundy and it's caviar. And it had, just have a look at this. I've just put a little bit of footage in because you'll see what I mean when you have a look at this. It's a lovely colour. And caviar too. Look at the um. Oh yeah, yeah. And look at the inside. Oh, 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 oh it's yeah. super It's got a fun interior. Everybody pick the people who love it. Oh. It was so funny. I was showing the other ladies the interior, and everybody was like, "Woo!" <laughs> And we just said, oh, just honestly, you can tell we're all we're all just the exact same. We get so excited about a funky interior in a handbag. Anyway, we found our tribe, haven't we? Not everybody does get it, do they? Um, that burgundy was absolutely stunning. So yeah, that was again, again, food for thought. That colour is just divine. I'm also going to put some footage in here um, when myself and my husband went shopping on a different day because there's so much footage from different days so it is a bit of a mix but I also went to Goyard. Now honestly I'll put again a little bit of footage in here. So I am just at Goyard and there's only one person in the queue in front of us so I might get in soon. So we'll go in and we will see what we can find. I don't know, the store looks really small. I did ask if I could film in Goyard and it was an absolute strict no, not even photographs, nothing. Um, I tried on the St. Louis. I've tried it on before, I wanted to try it again. I tried on the smaller size um, St. Louis, which I think is a PM. And the size of the bag is fantastic. The handles, the strap drop, no, it wouldn't go anywhere near. It wasn't even tight. It w just wouldn't go. And she said, no, it's meant to be a, a little beach bag, a, a beach tote that you're supposed to just carry. And I said, oh, it's just a shame because I would just never carry it like that. Um, so I had to look at the, is it the GM or the MM? Anyway, the bigger one, I think it's the, the GM. And I had to look at that one and it's fab. <laughs> it goes on your shoulder. I would love a St. Louis as a just a throw on the shoulder and off you go. But oh, my husband kept saying, well, it's so similar to the one you've got. Why would you want one so similar? And I was, well, <laughs> I don't know. I just love them. Not sure, not sure. And I also had a look at a few other things. So I might, I might have picked something up at Goyard, but you will have to wait for that in another video. You will have to wait. I then went to the row. I did, I went to the row. And oh, before I went to the row, 
I did go to Hermes, I did. And I went to the flagship store on Madison Avenue and oh my goodness, that store is stunning. Absolutely stunning. And I'm only just gonna say one thing, wait for another video. It's a whole story. There is a whole story about Hermes. <laughs> That is for another video. Anyway, then I went to the row and I wanted to get my hands on a Margot bag again, just to, I wanted to get my hands on one of the smaller ones because I tried on the 15 in the brown suede. Oh, beautiful, that was in London and I didn't want a bag so big. So I wanted to see what this the Margot 10 and 12 would look like. And Bergdorf didn't have one. Um, I don't think Saks, I don't even know if Saks actually stock it, but anyway, Bergdorf de definitely didn't have one to try, but the Row flagship store, which again was just off Madison Avenue, um, yeah, they might have had, <laughs> they might have had a size 10 and a 12, and it was in this absolutely stunning colour called Jam, and it is, it's a perfect, <laughs> it's a perfect name for it, beautiful absolutely beautiful and I did try on um the 10 as a crossbody and I really I loved it I absolutely loved it and I think they are expensive but they are beautiful quality the color of this was it wasn't dissimilar to my Birkin 25 up there in Rouge Granat sort of a a deep red a very beautiful neutral um Oh, they didn't have any suede ones to try in any colour. I think they do the mocha, which is the what I call the chestnut brown, and then they do black. But yeah, they didn't have any suede in store. So what did I do? Did I decide to go for a Margot bag? Did I wait and <laughs> see if I can find my my if I can put my hands on the suede one? You'll have to wait and see, won't you? We also went to Fashion File. What goes around comes around and the real real. But I'm going to do that in a separate vlog because that's like a pre-loved vlog. So yeah, hang fire for that because, oh my goodness, I went absolutely mad. I broke every single rule. Every single rule. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you on another one.